What's going on, guys? Welcome to a new episode of 20 Alex Post Gator 5. We're back again um, at the bunker, the warehouse hangar. Wonderful spot that exists. And I'm doing another post commentary for for a video I recorded just yesterday because I actually forgot that I didn't do the missions because these were all recorded in my own time um, kind of free time like when I have maybe like an hour to play but I can't really commentate and get everything ready it's just like I click record on the game capture HD and then just do as much as I can this is pretty much un this is all uncut and it's just me actually playing the game I'm probably getting mad in the background I know today that I did try again for like the fifth time do the missions for the mountain but I got super mad so I just stopped doing it so I'll probably upload that I'll probably do some of the missions I guess because I I did try and I got a couple of them I didn't get all pro or sick I got a couple pro and like two or three amateur so I did that I, I am trying but I want to get this playthrough done. I know it sounds a little rushed now, but I want to get it done this week, and I know I can. I mean, I have literally barely anything left of this game to do. I have um, Asteroid Belt goals, Asteroid Belt missions, Mountain goals, Mountain missions, um, Western, Western, Underground, Underground. So, I don't. I have less than 10 parts left, and... I could easily get this done by the beginning of next week, which today is Sunday, so throughout this week hopefully I can get uh, a couple of these out. I plan on doing a, a lot of recording today, uh, or tonight I should say, it's 11 o'clock at night, to um, get these prepared for the week and schedule them up and upload them while I sleep, and then that's usually how I do it. If anyone's wondering about how I really go about my YouTube stuff, um, that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, this is very recent with all the post commentary. I know Evolution Skateboarding's been post, but it's because I've, I've been really um, cut for time. Um, not only for my personal life, but then, you know, my, my YouTube stuff gets cut even more because my personal life is obviously a bigger, bigger priority than sitting down at my desk and playing video games for um, you guys. Which sounds kind of harsh, but I mean, it's it's the, the tough truth, you know. Um, obviously, if I had to choose between seeing a couple of my friends outside of work, um, it, or, you know, sitting down or recording Pro Skater 5 for an hour, um, I would obviously go out with my friends, because I cherish my life and do not want to be put through this game anymore. I know I've said I know I tried to really back it up with saying you know this game's not as bad and it's not it's not that bad, but it's it's it's, it's not good you know it's just it's disappointing. Um, I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon and start bitching about every little thing because it's pretty like when you see the video it's just like you know what the problem is, and it's. I've given it so much time, and I do think I'll go back to this game and think, you know, it's not that bad, but since I'm playing it so much recently, it's like, I just want to stop playing this game. It's really bothering me, and I don't like ha feeling that way when I'm doing playthroughs. I felt that way with, um, like I mentioned last episode with Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I love that game, but when you just start to lose interest in a game and you have to complete it you just feel miserable every time you play it so that's why I kinda do the post commentary because I know how much of a bitch I would be if I was doing live commentary and that's how evolution skateboarding is too it's like I hate playing it so much that I have to like be in a zone where I'm just thinking and concentrating and playing it to enjoy it just to enjoy it with this game it's just a matter of um, not sounding like a bitch, pretty much. But I probably could still accomplish that in post, so... Whatever whatever seems to happen will happen, I suppose. Um, if you want to pay the full $60 for this game, I wouldn't, unless you got money to throw away. Um, I would wait till it's on sale for at least 15 bucks, because I'm pretty sure that's what Pro Skater HD goes for anyway. I would get Pro Skater HD instead of this game, 
I do like ProSkater HD more than this, If for those who were wondering. It's just... I don't know, it's a little bit buggier, but it's a lot... I don't know. It seems more clean. I don't know how to really explain it. Obviously, they're both not very polished games, but ProSkater HD seem pretty pretty legit, and I can go back to it and, like, enjoy myself now. I'm at that point when I, you know, I don't play it that much where I can go back to it and be like, yeah, this is pretty fun. I bought it on Steam. I've been playing it on Steam. It's pretty fun. Um, I don't think a PC release of this game will make it any better, but who knows? Something could happen. Maybe some, some mods will go out for those who really enjoy this game. I'm sure that won't happen, though. Because if you want a good Tony Hawk game, you just play Thug Pro and play a real game, you know? A real community. And that was down this weekend, so I couldn't really play that. I had a lot of time this weekend, too. I had nothing to do this entire weekend. I just relaxed, and I enjoyed my time off from work. And I couldn't even play Thug Pro, which kind of kind of butters my balls, you know? Not in a good way. More like a inconvenience buttering. Anyway... I, I don't know why I still play as this character. I don't even know who she is. Like I can check the I have the case literally right in front of me. Um, she is Lizzie Armanto, I assume. She's not Letitia. Yeah, Lizzie. I don't know why I still play as her. I said I was gonna switch to Chris Cole once I reached the point I I got to, but I never did. So, oops. Uh, my stat points are a little bit different in this episode. Like I said, this is recorded after I recorded um, the first part of Mountain. So I've already spent a lot of my stat points. So what are you going to do? I can't. It's going to be weird too because when you see this, I will spend my stat points and then it'll go back to the, the lower stat points in the next episode. That's what I mean. Is that th this is after that, yeah. Really out of order, like I said, I forgot that I didn't record the mission, so I had to go back and do that. So that's not very fun, um, going back to this game, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying not to half-ass it. I'm trying to, like, quarter-ass it, where it's like I don't actually complete the game, but at least I show everything I can to my best ability. You know, it's like, when you do the same thing in the game every single time, it's... It gets boring for not only the player, but for the viewer. I assume. Unless you guys really need to see me go through a hundred rings in a hundred different levels. I don't know what to tell you, because it's really not that fun. It's... It is not a very interesting mechanic. Especially when it comes to those fucking kick the balls out of the pool. It's like, no. What is this doing to me? What What is... How does this pertain to my, you know, entertainment? Am I a fucking, like, toddler who's amused by a fucking honking horn? Like, come on. I'm a grown man looking to play Pro Skater 5. Honestly, who's going to play Pro Skater 5 other than the fucking veterans who's play who played the games before? No one just looks at it and like, oh yeah, that looks cool. Like, this game was obviously meant to you know, reminisce, or at least, I don't know, bring the, ti bring the title back. It wasn't meant to, like, start a new new IP, because skateboarding games have been dead for a, a little bit now. Skate 3 was, was a little long, a little while now. It's It's been pretty long since Skate 3 came out. But it's been dead. It's been pretty dead. And Pro Skater HD was the first game in a while that actually hit the mainstream. I know there's indie games out there that um, are related to skateboarding, but I mean, that's why I said mainstream. It's, I don't know, man. I love skateboarding, and I'm really happy I picked up the hobby again um, in my personal life. But th th the games just darn fun, you know? Skate is pretty fun, but the fucking community behind skate is so garbage it is so garbage um they just they tore me down like a fucking brick wall dude like they took a wrecking ball to a brick wall i was the brick wall they were a bunch of um very 
very immature people and I'm not I don't mean to generalize for the skate community but like man did they just really hate everything I absolutely did they hated my guts just for no apparent reason because I played it I played the game on my channel that's why they hate me because I played the game shouldn't a community be like celebrating that more people are playing their games not tearing them down like a fucking four-year-old's playing it like gotta step back Tony Hawk community is super cool and they're super chill they're there's not much wrong with them because they know the good games they know the good games nobody goes out and be like, and like defends pro skater 5 on a regular basis it says like Come on, guys, give this game another chance. That sounds like me, like, a couple months ago when I really enjoyed the game. Uh, clearly, I wasn't playing it enough. Um, I'll still stand, like, like, kind of diagonal to this game. I'm not going to stand next to this game. I'm not going to stand by this game. It. People have blown it out of proportion, I will say. But it's pretty bad. I'm not going to... You know, make Robomoto feel bad for taking on this big, big project. I mean, it's a huge IP to to really bring back, and I don't blame them at all for the kind of job they did. They just did their job, you know. Whether it was just a short due time or whatever, I realized they didn't have much time with the um, the license. That could definitely be a huge issue not gonna make anyone feel bad who worked on this game because I appreciate whoever worked on this game because you tried you definitely tried some people may think that you didn't because of the way it turned out but you tried I think you tried don't worry I got your back Robomoto but skate the, the Tony Hawk community knows the good games everybody loves you know the first couple games people may seem a um, little undecided on the newer titles like Proving Ground I've seen people uh, you know defend Proving Ground and Project 8 I've seen people hate American Wasteland when I find that game to be absolutely wonderful um, so we all have our different opinions one way or another when it comes to Tony Hawk games but I think it's a mutual agreement where Pro Skater HD and Pro Skater 5 did not turn out good, you know. Just happens, you know. It's. You don't really know what to say about it at this point. It's it's pretty much fucking nailed. Dead. It's, it's fucking. You're beating a dead horse now. And that's what I'm doing. I'm beating a dead horse. Look at me. I'm a fucking horse beater. Um. So, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. I'll keep saying my thoughts until until I don't have any thoughts anymore. It's pretty late. I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm going to keep talking. That's kind of the point of this, anyway. So, these goals are just kind of silly. Again, I'm, rec I'm collecting something, and something is worth more sometimes. They regenerate once I land. I think. I think that's why they regenerate. Right? Um, but. Don't ask me. I know nothing. Um, so I'm going to talk about my next. My next plans for LPs. I like talking about these because it's it gives me the, the bigger push to actually go through with it. Because when I actually say them. I don't really like s s putting separate videos to be like. I'm announcing a new LP. It's it's not that big of a deal. It's just like I'm gonna play a new game after I finish this game because that's my thing. That's what I do. Um, so I have two games in mind that I would really really like to play, and they go perfect, coinciding with the two games I'm playing currently, which is Evolution Skateboarding and Pro Skater 5. Um, when Evolution Skateboarding is done, I'm not moving on to ESPN Skateboarding immediately. I'm actually going to play Grind Session. Grind Session is a legit um, game for the play PlayStation 1 that plays fantastic. It's very fun. And I've been playing it for the past couple days and ooh, it 
out of the like the five games that try to rip off Tony Hawk, it's a great, great game. And I know a lot of people do like this game. And I'm pretty excited to to bring it to you guys. Um so I look forward to that. It's not gonna be a long game, probably about ten, fifteen parts. It's just a PlayStation game, so it can't be that long. Graphics are a little poopy, but we'll have to get through that. I just have to get the physical copy of the game because the emu emulator really um, doesn't do it justice, I suppose, in a, in a nice way to put it. And recording it is not a very nice manner either, because I, I would use I use DX Tori to record a lot of PC games, and it I think it snaps the DirectX programs and the PlayStation 1 emulator definitely can do that. So it snaps to it and records it, but then it gives this weird codec issue with it. And I'm not going to record in raw AVI because I don't have that much space on my computer. I don't have like fucking 8,000 terabytes to, to spare when it comes to raw AVI. Um, of course, I could record in like MP4 and save like 20% of a raw AVI but I got it to work on my other computer so I just gotta f play around with it until I go back to doing some PC recording like Fallout and um, whatever else I played I can't remember what else I was playing uh, any like quick plays I do Doom that's what it was going back to Doom I do, have a, I do have a lot of stuff I haven't uploaded yet for Doom so as soon as I get around to doing that I guess been taking a break from Doom because I played a lot of it when my um when my computer was being shit, so I kind of burnt myself out of it. And since I've got the new computer, it, I haven't installed it yet. So giving myself a little break. Probably when Doom 4 is starting to, you know, close to release date, I'll probably pick it right back up. Probably won't do Doom 2 right away though, because that game is really difficult. I beat that game a month ago. Um, I had something else. Oh yeah, n the other game that I plan on doing um, to coincide with Pro Skater 5 or to follow up Pro Skater 5 is Pro Skater 3 again. Man, how many times can I play Pro Skater 3? Uh, this time I will be doing the N64 version of Pro Skater 3 because I have actually never played it. I booted it up um, through an emulator to see just like the general gist of it. Just to see like is there a difference as soon as I open this game and by golly there is a big difference in graphics, music, and um, sounds believe it or not. So when it comes to differences in Tony Hawk games I definitely have to play it. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I ordered the game on eBay. Um, it'll be on a, an actual N64. I will not be emulating it so I got a box copy too, so it'll, it'll go right next to my Pro Skater 1 box copy for my collection. It's gonna be fucking dope. And so, with that said, I probably will do an uh, N64 version of Pro Skater 2. I have played that one, and I do not remember it being incredibly different. But I've already played Pro Skater 2 on Xbox, um, Xbox and PlayStation 1. That's pretty much the two. I don't I don't think the PC version is any different. I I do have that. Maybe I'll do that too. I don't think there's any differences when it comes to the Xbox version and the PC version other than the lack of bonus levels that the Xbox version has. So that that being said, I probably won't play the PC version unless there's like a minor difference. If there's any difference at all, I might play it. I don't know. I don't like replaying games a million times, but Pro Skater 3 is legit the best game. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and if you do want to check out a good good time, um, Ice Bears Forever is doing a, a playthrough of the PlayStation 1 version of Pro Skater 3, which is my favorite, favorite version of Pro Skater 3. And actually, well, I think I said it was my favorite Tony Hawk game in general because it's so fun. It's long and it is just a good game. And I think I commented on saying it was like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2.5 because it's like it's basically Pro Skater 2 just like more levels and more features. And it's cool. 
I love it. I'll always stand by that game, no matter what. Because that's a finished game. That game's done. That game has been out. I can I can say that game's good. Um, but yeah. Ice Paris has been... He's gonna, is playing Prosecutor 3. And to me, I find that very amusing because... Uh, just different views of the game. I know it's garbage to a lot of people because it's nothing like the fucking PlayStation 2 and Xbox version, but that's what makes it so cool, is that it's a completely different game. I love both versions, but... Dude, PlayStation 1. I, I still remember getting it for my birthday. And it's not the nostalgia goggles talking, it's like, I could play that game today, like right now. I could play it right after this. But luckily, this is the end of the video. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.